Hey guys, today we are going to continue to look at non-proportional relationships. We are going to look at how to create a graph and a table when given an equation. So the y-intercept is where the x value is zero. This is where the graph line crosses the y-axis. And remember the y-intercept in our equation is that constant that is added or subtracted. So that is going to be what we recognize first. And then the other thing we're gonna to use to create our graph or table is the rate of change or m, that is the coefficient of x. This is referred to as the rate of change in um, the dependent variable compared to the change in the independent variable. You'll see it written like this, the change in y divided by the change in x. So to create a graph from an equation, we're gonna plot that y-intercept where our line will intersect the y-axis. And then we can plot more points with the rate of change because the rate of change tells us how much we go up or down divided by the x. Okay, so let's look at this first one. Our equation is y equals 3x minus 1. So m is the number in front of x, so it is 3. And if I were to write that as a ratio, it would be 3 over 1, because 3 divided by 1 is 3. So that means the change in our y values is 3 whenever I change the x values by 1. So we will use that to plot our graph in a minute, but the first thing I'm gonna need to plot is the y-intercept, which is negative one in this equation. So when x is zero, what is y? It is negative one. So I'm gonna start by plotting that on the y-axis when x is zero. On my y-axis, that y-intercept value is negative one. Okay, so I've plotted the y-intercept. Now I'm going to plot some more points with my rate of change. So my y values change by three as my x values change by one. So that means I'm gonna go up one, two, three on the y-axis and then write one on the x-axis. I changed the y values by three and I changed the x values by one. Let's do that again. I'm gonna go up one, two, three for the change in the y values and then write one for the change in the x values. And then I can draw my line through those points. Hopefully your line is a little bit straighter than mine. Okay, um, so now for my table, I can use my equation to get the matching y values. So remember our equation was y equals 3x minus 1. So I'm just going to input the x values into this equation and that will tell me the y value. So to find y when x is negative 2, I will do 3 times negative 2 minus 1, which would be negative 6 minus 1, which is negative 7. And then for negative 1, I would do 3 times negative 1 minus 1, which would be negative 3 minus 1, which is negative 4. And then three times zero minus one would be negative one. There's the y-intercept where the x value is zero. And then I would do three times one minus one, which is three minus one, so two. And then three times two minus one is six minus one, which is five. And as you can see in our y values, we are adding three each time, which shows the rate of change being three. Okay, let's look at this next equation. The number in front of x is negative two. So the change in my y values is negative two when the change in the x values is one. So this time in the y values, I'm gonna have to show decreasing by two instead of increasing like we had on this one. And then the b value is four. So when x is zero, the y value is four. So let's go ahead and plot that on the y-axis. Our b value is four. And now I can plot some more points with the rate of change. The change in the y values is negative two. So instead of going up two this time to show an increase, I'm gonna go down two. And then I will still show the x values changing by that positive one. So I'm gonna go down one, two, and then write one to show a decrease by two in the y values and an increase by one in the x values. I'll do that again, down two, write one, 
down to right one, down to right one, down to right one. So our line is going to go through all of these points. Okay, so now we're going to fill out the table. The equation was y equals negative 2x plus 4. So to find the y values, I will do negative 2 times the x value plus 4. So for this first one, it'll be negative 2 times negative 2 plus 4. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, and then 4 plus 4 is 8. And then negative 2 times negative 1 plus 4 would be 2 plus 4, which is 6. Negative 2 times 0 plus 4 would be 0 plus 4, which is 4, which is the y-intercept, which we can see on the y-axis. And then negative 2 times 1 plus 4 would be negative 2 plus 4, which is 2. And then negative 2 times 2 plus 4 would be negative 4 plus 4, which is 0. So you can check that you did this correctly by making sure the ordered pairs match what you have on your graph. 0, 4, I have that point. 1, 2, I have that point. And then 2, 0, I have that point as well. And then as you can see in the table, we're decreasing by 2, which the rate of change was negative 2, so that makes sense. Okay, let's look at this next one. I have y equals 1 half x minus 2. So the rate of change is 1 half. That means that my y values are changing by 1 when the x values are changing by 2. And then the y-intercept is negative 2 which is the y value when the x value is 0. So I'm going to start by plotting the y-intercept at negative 2. And now I'm going to plot a few more points with this rate of change. So my y values are going to change by 1 as my x values are changing by 2 to get me to that next ordered pair. So I increase by 1 in the y values and then I increase by 2 in the x values. So there is the next ordered pair. And I continue that pattern up 1, right, 2 up one right two and there is enough points to draw my line okay so i've graphed this relationship and now i am ready to fill out the table for this equation y equals one half x minus two So I'm going to multiply the x values by 1 half and then subtract 2. So this first one would be 1 half times negative 2 minus 2. 1 half times negative 2 is negative 1 and negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. And then I would do 1 half times negative 1 minus 2. 1 half times negative 1 is negative 1 half and negative 1 half minus 2 is negative 2.5. And then 1 half times 0 minus 2. 1 half times 0 is 0. And then 0 minus 2 is negative 2. 1 half times 1 minus 2 would be 1 half minus 2, which is negative 1.5. And then 1 half times 2 minus 2 would be 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. So, this matches our graph. We have that y-intercept at negative 2, and then our y-values are increasing by 1 half, which we see in the equation and in the graph by going up 1 over 2. Okay, last one, y equals 4x. So the number in front of x for our rate of change is 4. So my change in y is 4 as my change in x is 1. And then I do not have a plus a number here. There's nothing there, and the number for nothing is 0. So our y-intercept is 0. So I'm going to start by plotting my y-intercept at 0. And then the rate of change is 4, so I increase my y-values by 4, and then I increase my x-values by 1 to get that next ordered pair. So up, one, two, three, four, right, one. Then I'm going to draw my line through these points. And then I just need to fill out the table for y equals 4x. So I just have to do 4 times the x value of negative 2 to get me the y value, which is negative 8. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. 
4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. And if you did not notice, this is actually a proportional relationship since we're going through the origin, we're going through 0, 0, and we do have that multiplicative relationship. All we're doing is multiplying the numbers.